Hello. Recently we added several new filters to Shotcut, but I'm going to take a look at two in particular today. The first is normalization for audio, and the second is stabilization for video. You can think of normalization as being like an automatic volume control. This is really useful when you have clips from different sources or from different uh, shooting conditions that you uh, want to level them out to be about the same. Here's a good example of using uh, audio normalization. In my uh, shot cut videos, I have this opening animation where the music is really pumping pretty hard. The levels are really peaking out here, as you can see. And then shots of, like myself, talking are not quite so intense. I am Dan Dennity, the lead developer you know, of they're, Shotcut. They're running pretty and low. And I'm going to be talking about the leak motion control. So what we would do is go back to the animation, add the normalize filter. We're going to norm. We're going to normalize using what's called RMS power, and uh, the other option is peak, but. I think typically you'll want to use RMS power, and this is kind of like an average uh, mechanism using root mean square. Um, peak will just look at whatever is the uh, loudest single sample in the entire um, clip that you give it, and uh, raise that to the max, and then raise everything else, you know, the same amount. Um, but power is what you need, definitely, if you have something that's driving heavy like this and you need to reduce it. So, after we choose our options, you have to click Analyze in order for this filter to take effect. And when you click Analyze, it adds an analysis job here. You can see it's running. It goes pretty fast, normalizing does. And if we rewind this and play it, you'll see it's been reduced. There's some headroom now between you know, up to zero and where it's riding. We would add that to a playlist now. We'll go back to the talking head video. Add the audio normalize to that. Set it to the same target amplitude and click Analyze. Wait for that job to run. And add that to the playlist. And now if we close the play or if we uh, open the playlist and play the two back to back, you'll see that the uh, animation I music isn't Zanity, quite as pronounced as it was before and compared to the talking head video. Now when it comes to video stabilization, a lot of people are thinking, I'm going to stabilize this action shot with a lot of motion, like this. Go a little faster. And while you're likely to see some improvement, it's probably not going to be quite the results that you're expecting not as impressive as what you're expecting. In this example, I'm holding the camera in a basically uh, stationary position, except, you know, I should have had a tripod and I didn't. And that's really where I noticed this uh, the filter having the most effect. Here's a shot of my daughter uh, here performing on stage and I'm sitting in the audience holding the camcorder, camcorder in my hand, of course. And so when you're shooting, uh, you turn the volume down here. You know, there's going to be uh, camera motion from hand holding. Mostly up and down. You can see a little. So this is what it looks like beforehand. That's good. And we'll turn on filters and choose stabilize from the video filter menu. Now the menu went off the uh, screen capture region. Um, so, but it's there if, as long as you're using a version from November 9th or later. There's not a lot of shakiness in this, so I'm going to turn that all the way down. These two options, options, shakiness and accuracy, they apply to the analyze step. 
and uh, like the normalized filter you have to do an analyze on uh, the section or you have to do an analyze before the filter will do its its thing you know and apply the uh, resulting effect um, and also because this effect uh, takes a long time um, you want to make sure that you trim you know select the region that you're interested in uh, before applying this uh, before doing the analyze step so click analyze and we will wait for that job to run and there it is and it reports analysis complete and if we close our panels we'll go back to the endpoint and play this you'll see the result now this is you know a very intense effect uh, it's not able to play in real time it's dropping frames heavily but hopefully you can see that um, it is more stable and if we were to do a fight on code of this it would be uh, a lot more smooth you know because there would be no dropped frames and uh, you'd really get the imp impression of the effect